One of the biggest problems when you're working in detailing, especially in the UK, is this weather. Whether you're washing cars, machine polishing, or coating vehicles, you know that you have to rely on the best weather you possibly can to earn any money. So today we're gonna to be reviewing a product from Bullhawk, which is the Premium 32, which is a really good gazebo, which is a three by four and a half meter. What comes in the package is a frame, we get the roof, we get the sides, and this retails at $269.99. We're also gonna be putting a car underneath it to show you exactly the dimensions of it, BMW X5, to see how much clearance we got at the top. And we're gonna do a little cheeky time-lapse today to see if I can get this up in under five minutes flat, as being efficient in detailing is something really, really important to get on the driveway and off the driveway as fast as possible so it's not costing you money. So we're gonna take this gazebo from this to this. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so let's see if I can do this under five minutes. So if you guys are watching this video and you've got a Bullhawk gazebo, I wanna know down in the comments section. So let me know what size you got and what you use it for. So this is a fantastic gazebo and it comes straight out of the box with a carry case. It comes with two straps on the carry case and some wheels, which makes transporting the gazebo frame to and from the vehicle so much easier. This is a high grade 32 millimeter frame, but they do come in a 40 and a 50 millimeter, which comes in a hex frame when you get past the 40 millimeters. It comes in eight fantastic colors to choose from. So if you have a color of choice, you should be able to find that in the, in the gazebo store. So one of the other special things about the gazebo is it comes with a powder coated frame, which seems to be held up really, really well in all weather conditions. And also in the package, you can get the guy ropes and pegs, which are supplied. And this is great for soft ground, so you can use the pegs to attach the gazebo, which obviously helps from anything, any stronger winds from blowing this gazebo away. But if you are on hard ground, I would recommend getting some sandbags and attaching some of those guy ropes to that, because obviously the one thing you don't want to do is have this gazebo turn into a parachute and land on a customer's car. So now we're at the two minute mark, I'm going to take you back out there and how I attach the canopy to the frame and how to avoid the mistake I made of breaking one of the gazebo legs. So here comes my top tips. Oh, look at that. Being six foot really helps. And you're gonna see on the middle, there is a little patch. And this is gonna give you a reference point to get it on. Fantastic. And there and over. And again, straight over the corner. This definitely is like making the bed. I don't tell you the missus though, because I don't make the bed. <laughs> make sure she's not watching this. Again, up and over. Ah, that's a lovely job. Again, underneath here, you're going to see the little patches. We're going to give you the uh, locators. Absolutely perfect. There we go. Now, so while we're at this, Bullhawk do do these in eight different colours. So you can choose what colour you want. I assume this is the grey. Again, little Velcro areas, just clip in there. Fantastic. Now we're in, over the top. Now, this is the most important part. This is the bit where I broke it before. So, I used to hold on this and hike this up to get it straight. What we're gonna do now, stretch it out, and then we get underneath, and lift from the middle, just so I can get some stretch on it. Straight underneath. That's it, get the legs up. This just shows how light this frame is. Being able to lift this up myself is lovely. So I'm working two sides at a time. I'm gonna go legs first. Put your foot on there. Get a little click into position. There we go. There we go. And then up to the other end. Make sure you click all four corners first. Now the frame is powder coated, so that gives you a little bit of weathering protection. And now, I'm just stretch this out. It's going to get underneath, just so I can push these legs up to the top. Don't want to be forced or anything. Holding that up. Now I can put my foot on the leg, pop into the corner, pop into the corner. Pop into the corner. 
And the last corner is done. So let's check out and see how we've done. So not quite under five minutes, five minutes 30 isn't bad going. So come and have a look underneath what we've got to do to finish this off now. So underneath here, we've got some strapping. This connects to the frame. What, we, what do we need this for? Well, this is going to actually save you a lot of hassle because you don't want the gazebo roof to fly off. So just adjust the straps, pop them on just like this. You've got six in total, one at either end. No problem at all, easy set on. Where you want to test it, you just want a little bit of play in there. Nothing too strong, but just that little bit of play. Otherwise you'll do what I did and you'll start to see that these straps will start to tear and go away from the gazebo. So don't go too much. You just need to be a little bit, just a little bit of tension, but not over, over tight. One of the things I'll tell you that you don't want to be using this gazebo in anything over 25 kilometer hour winds, okay? Because if you're working in a detailing perspective, you can find it, it can turn into a parachute. And as you know, that can be quite deadly for you when you're working with a car. But this is the three in point, this is the three by four and a half meter. So in a second, what we're going to do is we're going to drive the car underneath and we're going to see how much clearance we've got with my X5. First thing you want to do is not crash into the Bullhawk. Okay, so let's try this again. So the settings on the gazebo are now on the highest setting, on, on setting three. And as you can see, lots of clearance, loads of room. But is it long enough? Let's find out. And we're in. I'm pretty impressed with that. I think that fits quite well. Like I said, depending on where the sun is at the time, you know, is where you, how you position your gazebo. But so far, so good. And I think I've got a good experience in this because I've had this gazebo for nearly two years. It's showing little signs of wear and tear on the corners. But the great thing about the Bullhawk series is that they do have replacement parts. I know the roof isn't too expensive, but all the products, all the links are gonna be down in the description underneath the video. So go and check them out. So what we're gonna do now is just gonna pop the side on just to show you exactly how well it fits and how to fasten it. So personally for me, I like to start with the wall on the outside of the frame. This gives me a visualization of where I'm going to start and where I'm going to finish. And by using the hook and loop fixtures, this enables me to get a perfect fitment against the wall to the canopy. So while using one hand to feed to the other, I work my way corner to corner. And by using the straps, this attaches securely and tightly to the frame, which enables me to a security for a watertight fixture. And one of the other benefits is that the gazebo comes with doors and windows. So first of all, this is going to allow you to have lighting and also it's going to give you some ventilation whenever you're working with chemicals as well. The only downside to a four and a half meter gazebo is that when you're working on larger cars, you will find that the back bumper and the front bumper will be touching. So I recommend only having the sidewalls on, which will still give you some extra security out of the sunlight and out of the rain. And there you have it, a fully erected Premium 32 ready for work. So what's my overall opinion on this Bullhawk Premium 32? Well, this is gonna, this could save you a lot of money, guys. I mean, this is only 200 pound without the sides and 26999 with the sides. What do I mean that it's gonna save you money? Well, as you know, working in the UK or weathers all over the world, really, you're gonna have different weathers at different times. And this is gonna have an effect on your income. And this is the biggest problem. So for a little over 200 pounds, you aren't going to have to cancel your customers to stop going out to them. And the three meter by four and a half is a really good size for different, for medium to large vehicles in height and in length. And especially this time of year when you get the hot weather, this is going to give you some great shade so you can run cool and still carry on with your job. So this comes in a different range of colors. It comes in eight different colors, but all that is going to be down in the links in the description. So this has been the Bullhawk Premium 32. We managed to get this one up in just over five and a half minutes. Check out our latest videos. I'm gonna leave a little caption here for you guys to click on for our next video in the Bullhawk series. I'll see you guys in the next video. Who <laughs> dance? You're on the dance floor. Yay! <laughs> See, Bullhawk is also a dance floor. The Bullhawk gazebo, great for discos and dance floors. <laughs>